When you need to create a Google document, there's a few simple ways you can author it with accessibility in mind. In this video, we'll review those simple ways and learn how to check a Google Doc for accessibility. The first simple way is to consider the font style. It's important to select one that is readable. The default font style in Google Docs is Arial, but other options might be Verdana, Tahoma, Trebuchet MS, and Georgia. I'll stick with the default for this document. The font color should also be taken into consideration. Choose a dark color that provides good contrast against the Google Docs white background. By default, the font is black. That'll work for this document. The next simple way is to create document structure. Google Docs has a feature called Styles that will allow me to use my title and subheadings to structure the document. I'll highlight the title of this doc and apply Heading 1. And I'll apply a Heading 2 to these two subheadings. I can see the document structure by clicking Tools and selecting Document Outline. See how it appears here in the pane to the left? Hmm. While I'm thinking about structure, I'll also make sure that this list is using the built-in Numbered List feature. When I highlight these items, I can see the Numbered List icon is selected here in the toolbar. That lets me know that this list is properly structured. I can also use the Bulleted List feature, but I don't need it here. The next simple way to incorporate accessibility is to make sure all of the images have text representation or alternative text. Here's an image that we can check. I'll select it, click Format, and select Alt Text. This text is just the file name and a timestamp. It won't mean much to a screen reader user, so I'll delete it and type a text representation here in the title field. It saves when I click OK. Next, let's consider tables. I've included one here, but it's important to note that tables cannot be made fully accessible in a Google Doc, so I'll just make sure that it contains simple data that's easy to follow by reading the table left to right, top to bottom. This one looks pretty good. If you need to present more complex data, consider using Microsoft Excel instead of a Google Doc. The final simple way to author an accessible Google document is to type descriptive hyperlink text. It should answer three questions. Where is the link going? What will be viewed? And what else happens when the link is clicked? This hyperlink leads to a downloadable document, so I'll indicate which type of document. It's a PowerPoint file, so typing PPT within parentheses helps students know to expect a download. OK, I think we're almost done. I'll use Grackle Docs, a free add-on, to check the accessibility of my Google Doc. It looks like Grackle Docs has a few suggestions for me. I know they'll help improve the things I've done. When it's time to share a Google Doc with your students, make sure to save it as a DOCX file by clicking File and then Download as Microsoft Word DOCX. When you upload the file to your course, provide a link to the Microsoft Word Reader in your course resources for those students who do not use Word. Following these simple ways to create and share an accessible Google Doc, will help ensure your content is available to all of your students.